Hi, my name is Crystal Fletcher and welcome to All About Canadian Books. Today we are going to get to know award-winning playwright Paul David Power. Today's interview will be a series of 10 quick questions and this will be followed up on Thursday, March 24th with our Behind the Book chat and we will be talking about his published play, Crippled. So introducing Paul David Power, I should use this, oh no, this hand. <laughs> Paul David Power has spent the past 25 years working as a writer, an award-winning playwright, actor, and director. His published play, Crippled, was shortlisted for the 2021 Governor General's Literary Award in Drama. Paul currently heads his own Newfoundland-based theatre company, Power Productions, and it is a professional theatre company dedicated to the development of works and artists with the focus on the disabled deaf and mad art domain. Welcome to All About Canadian Books, Paul. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. I am thrilled to have you. Are you ready for these series of 10 quick questions? I'm ready. I'm nervous, but I'm ready. Yep. <laughs> no, don't be nervous. And I will confess, Sometimes I might slip in a little extra question. <laughs> okay, <laughs> might be 11, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 12. <laughs> okay, Paul, what is the best thing about living in St. John's? Uh, I think it's the smallest, uh, sorry, the largest uh, a small town that you'll ever see. I really like um, the sense of community, um, especially uh, working in the arts. There's a real close-knit, uh, really non-competitive community, more of a supportive community, which um, I really value. What is the worst thing about living in Newfin in St. John's? The weather. <laughs> the weather. <laughs> um, yeah, th the wind is unbelievable. Uh, of course, snow and rain and all that, but uh, you know, being on the end of the country here in the middle of the Atlantic, uh, weather is every time we have a snowstorm or the wind is, we use the expression here in Newfoundland, it's going to blow the head off. Yep. Um, <laughs> my question, why are we living here? But then, of course, the the, the lifestyle makes it worth it. Aww. <laughs> so, Paul, what was your reaction when you learned that you had been long listed or shortlisted for the Governor General's Literary Award in Drama? That was a really nice surprise. Yeah. Um, it was, certainly wasn't on my radar and, uh, you know, our, my publisher, Breakwater Books, and that takes good care of me um, sending titles in for that types of awards. Um, it was just, it was wonderful to be um, uh, grouped with so many other amazing writers. Um, so uh, it was a real thrill and it's just a really nice affirmation uh, that your work is having an impact. Um, that really means a lot to me. I'm um, just even being uh, grouped with these other amazing writers um, and being in their company. Congratulations. Thank you. So you have been in over 30 stage plays across the country, as well as directing and producing. I mean, what would you say would be your most memorable moment? Oh, gosh, uh, there's so many. Um, I would have to say, though, uh, I spent a lot of time in uh, New Brunswick in Moncton, uh, and uh, when I first arrived there, I got a role in Dracula, and I got to play uh, Van Helsing, um, who was the, the character they patterned after was a, uh, from the TV series House, like a real uh, grumpy dominating doctor um which is not me or i don't think it's me other people might say different but um, um it was a real it was a real uh switch uh from what i usually play um that was a memorable role but um i think uh also seeing things i've written being performed by others. Uh, yeah. It's an amazing thing to see your words come to life on stage and uh, 
you know, a lot of the times I perform my work as well, but I really um, discovered a love for just sitting back in the audience and experiencing that with the rest of the audience and seeing something you created and being lucky enough to have it produced and just to see what came out of your mind be around that stage. Um, that, 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 that's incredible every time. I can't imagine, like, do you find you get really emotional when you're watching it? I, I do. And um, I also love um, how a director or an actor uh, might put another spin on it or interpretation that I hadn't thought of or hadn't realized while I was writing. Um, I find that really interesting. Um, and of course, they find different like nuances and uh, uh, interpretations and uh, read a lot more into um, sometimes what I've written. So I, I will I take the credit for that, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. I was thinking that. But um, it's it's like discovering your work through other people's eyes, which which is incredible. Oh, I can't imagine. I just think that would be so, so thrilling. Yeah, it's 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 a very lucky. It's a cool thing to work in, uh, you know, theater medium, and uh, you know, it's not very often uh, as a writer you get to see your writing come to life like that. So um, yeah, I think that's why I love theater and um, uh, seeing that live performance. Yeah. So if you had to choose between writing and theater, what would be your uh, creative medium of choice? Like if you could only write or do, like if you had to divide the two, what would you choose? Gosh, you know what? If you've asked me that like 20 years ago, I would have been like, oh, on stage, yeah. definitely spotlight him. But um, as I've gotten older, um, <laughs> it, it's less important for me um, to be on that stage and um, uh, definitely uh, writing. I would choose writing because, uh, you know, I write plays, but I, I also write uh you know, essays and short stories and mm -hmm. some things that have never been published, like poetry and that. But um, I I find it such um, a valuable thing to work out whatever is going through your own mind, um, whatever you're going through in your real life, or if it's totally you know not about you. Uh, it's a wonderful escape, um, and I think as an artist and being able to get that creativity out um, through writing. Uh, that's been there all my life so yeah I would never be able to give that up yeah okay <laughs> give up the stage but not ready <laughs> <laughs> yeah um do you get stage fright yes <laughs> every time um oh, okay yeah uh it's different levels um but uh especially uh just before you go out on stage uh, you know you're standing there or at least I am in the background now like, what what you know, it's like when you go um, line up to go on a scary roller coaster, right? And yeah. you have that you have that feeling when you're getting into it, like, I uh, what am I doing? And um, I don't need to put myself through this. And um, I really get nervous when I've been in plays where I had to go out on stage by myself. Um, oh. That's you know, I'm more comfortable when I'm sharing the stage, but when I have to go out by myself, that's where I'm really nervous. Um, but once I, once you get out there uh, and get the flow going, um, I forget about being nervous and you sort of have fun with it or, you know, you're, you're really into the character. So, oh. but yes, yeah, stage fright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's and after all of these years. Wow. Yeah. 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 And they say that um, that's, that's a good thing, right? As long as it's not, you know, hindering your ability to <laughs> move, but um, uh, it, it's sort of that adrenaline too, right? That yeah. that um, rush. I mean, I've been in plays where I've been dying with the flu, and for some reason, you know, you get that adrenaline rush, and for that whatever hour, two hours on stage, it's you know, it's this energy that you've you've mustered up, and sometimes you don't know where it comes from. Oh my goodness! Wow. And do you have an opening night ritual? Yes, I do. Um, and I, I don't know when I started this, but, um, you know, I believe in uh, higher power or uh, a spirituality, but I was also raised, raised uh, Catholic. <laughs> so um, it's an ingrained in me, the uh, blessing. <laughs> so uh, maybe this is part of my stage, right? I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> I bless myself 
uh, before I go out and perform. And it's not necessarily, um, uh, you know, a certain religion. I, I think it's just uh, trying to take that moment to gather that that energy, that's positive energy, that that inner spirituality that you know you want to do well and. and whatever higher powers out there please help me do well <laughs> yeah yeah please help me remember my lines <laughs> well that's that's another thing if anybody's worked with me i just, that's always um yeah the biggest thing with me is that you know i'll give you 80 percent of the lines okay <laughs> in my own place right you know either they're always like you wrote this don't you know this no <laughs> Have you ever, for, like, have you ever forgotten in the middle of it, like, just drawn a blank? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, but I've gotten, you know, I, I guess with experience, you, you, that's one of the other things about live theater, you know, that, that thing. Um, usually, I, you're pretty well versed uh, in the story to know where you're going. So uh, you might blank, but uh uh, once you get in that rhythm, uh, you you can you can cover. Um, I remember one of the first performances of uh, Crippled, uh, and uh, my fellow actor who's in that with me, uh, Pat Dempsey. We were performing. I think it was the second night of our our premiere. So first night was all great reviews, and we we, we nailed it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> second night, I think we got too cocky, and we were we were <laughs> out there, and I was pretty early on in the play, and. I don't know what happened, but we skipped over like 10 pages or something. And we, we didn't realize at first, but and then we had to backtrack because we're like, hey, the audience doesn't know like who you are yet, or this it's not gonna make sense if we don't go back. And uh, but uh, Pat Dempsey's really great. He he sort of led led me back. So but yes, it does happen. <laughs> um Paul, you survived 10 questions. In a little more. Oh, okay. Oh, that was easy. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get me talking. <laughs> no, it's great. So, Paul, David Power, thank you so much for answering 10 questions. I really appreciate getting to know you a little better. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> it was fun. And for our viewers out there, please come back on Thursday, March 24th, because Paul will be back and we will be talking about his um, published stage play, Crippled, and we're gonna find out the story behind this book. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Bye.